Go. Hi folks, welcome to another stall13.com video. I want to talk about chestnuts, and I'm not talking about chestnuts roasting on an open fire. It is December, Christmas, sorry, bad joke. I'm talking about the chestnuts that are on a horse. What are the chestnuts? Where are the chestnuts located? I want to talk a little bit and let you know that chestnuts are a great way of identifying your horse if you have a horse that might be stolen. The chestnuts on a horse are as, as individual as that horse as our own thumbprint is to us. A lot of people don't know that. It's great to keep a photograph of them. Uh, they actually grow in layers, kind of like a biscuit has layers, or, or like a loaf of bread has sections. They kind of grow and grow. Sometimes you'll see them really long. Most show people, or most people that take good care of their horses, have a tendency just to peel them off. That's what I'm going to do right now, and then we'll talk more about chestnuts. We're going to try to zoom in to see if we can't get a picture of these chestnuts on the horse's leg. Here's your knee, here's your elbow, they're about halfway up right here, and they feel kind of callousy. And as you peel them, the horse kind of moves a little bit, and some horses it kind of tickles. This doesn't hurt, it just kind of tickles. And as you go to peel it off, see how she's kind of reacting a little bit? She's never had her chestnuts peeled before. This is a new experience for her. So she's kind of moving around a little bit. We're going to let her move around, we're not going to try to restrain her just so we get a better shot for the camera. That would be dishonest. Sometimes the chestnuts come off in chunks or pieces. It just depends on how big they are. Now this is what I got right here. I have a nice little chunk of chestnut. Now as strange as it sounds, it looks kind of callousy and it's hard to tell in the camera and I really don't think you would see it but this is actually in tiny little layers. I can see the layers. Almost like uh, dinner plates stacked in a cabinet. Now, here's a real good training secret. If you smell this, it smells exactly like a horse. When I'm working with horses that hate people or are psychologically damaged, I will go over and the first thing I do is, is I peel their chestnut. Then I take it and rub my hands on it and get it all around as much as I possibly can because now my hand smells just like this horse. Watch. Watch her ears. See how she's following, kind of looking at my hand? She's, see how she just draws to my hand like magic? It's because my hand now smells like her. <laughs> see, look, she just keeps looking at it. Wherever my hand goes, she kind of sniffs. You can kind of see her nostrils moving just a little bit. She's following my hand. And the reason is, is because my hand now smells exactly like she does. It's a, oh, we're trying to film a video, dear. What I'm trying to, the point here is, is that now my hands smell like her. It's a comforting smell. It smells better than cigarettes, perfume, aftershave, even a chocolate bar, pizza, or potato chips on your hands. Whenever you can make the horse comfortable, you're always doing better. This is kind of a training psychological thing. I'm not really sure where I'm going to put this or what category I'm putting it in, but it's a handy little tip to know about these chestnuts. Once you peel those chestnuts off, you can actually take some ink and you can blot them and take a picture of them and the shape of them are identical just to this horse and no other horse. You can actually take these chestnuts off, soak them in water, and you can actually put that water on a small orphan foal. If you're trying to get a nurse mare to accept a foal by soaking the mare's chestnuts in water and then applying that chestnut and that water on that strange baby, when that mare sniffs, sniffs that baby, what is she going to smell? Exactly. She's going to smell herself and it will help nurse a baby. This is a very, very old, old horseman's trick. You don't find it in any books. This is not my idea. This is just information that I'm passing along to you. Hopefully it'll be some help. The chestnuts are on the front legs. They're on the back legs. Sometimes you'll see chestnuts that are this long and they're so hard that you have to actually clip them off with a pair of pinchers. Well, this has been another stall13.com video. Take care of yourselves and you are such a good girl. Take care of your horses.